Reducing urban heat islands, one bus stop at a time. Phoenix is a great test bed for dealing with extreme heat, trying to manage extreme heat. And, uh, you know, if, if we can solve our problems here, uh, you know, our solutions can be transported to a wide range of cities across the globe. David Saylor runs the Urban Climate Research Center at Arizona State University. In partnership with the city of Tempe and manufacturing company 3M, researchers installed a cooling film on the roof of three bus stops and then compared its temperatures with the roof of a nearby bus stop without the film. We have measured the radiative environment that would be experienced by a person sitting underneath a shelter, and we do find that the radiative experience would be several degrees Fahrenheit cooler under these shelters that have that radiative film on top of them. Saylor says cooling down a few bus stops won't make a huge impact across the city, but adding the film to other surfaces might. Once that they're proven, we want to be able to deploy them much more widely on other shade surfaces, ramadas and parks, on uh, vehicle rooftops, uh, on building rooftops. But even at bus stops, which are also used in Tempe by people who don't have housing or air conditioning to keep cool, Saylor says the film can prevent heat-related illnesses. How can we have targeted solutions that really protect the most vulnerable populations as opposed to just sort of broadly trying to cool the entire city? And so it's a much more cost-effective, uh, beneficial uh, impact for society as a whole. Reporting for AccuWeather, I'm Emmy Victor. Hey, AccuWeather fans. If you want to see more videos like this, check out some of our other ones right here. And if you like what you see, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more from AccuWeather.